Welcome back to the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. I wanted to do an update. I had to pick up some plating today. Uh, that was a that was a pain when you stop and consider all the wood I have for free, but I have to get this and have to pay money for it. A bunch of naughty material. I've had uh, two loads of. Uh, Number three is brought in for this front because this, these are shorter walls in the octagon. I didn't figure there'd be any hurt in backfilling there so we could work around here a little easier. Um, it ate up two loads, uh, 22 plus ton loads. There's still some in that corner and some over here still to fill in. Um, yeah, it's, I can't imagine this over here, I might try to backfill up with rock and then fill this in with dirt, try it, um, there's just so much, $500 a load plus, you don't want to be doing too much of that. The other thing that I've done is I've got my scaffolding set up, or just about set up, so I can walk the perimeter here and get the square on this. I don't know what the square is going to be. I know that the footer, it was bang on. What it is now remains to be seen. I'll update you on that. Um, some of you were also asking about the uh, dealing with the with my uh, flu, I'm down here without killing myself. What I did is I actually took, well, let me walk around there a little closer and I'll show you. Some were asking like how, how was that moving of the hole going in a, I actually did this on Tuesday. Uh, so I've got it, as you can see, moved over. Um, what I did is I took, made a template of this, set it on the wall where I needed it, squared up to, centered on my uh, base here. And I took my hammer drill and I drilled a series of holes around the perimeter about every three-eighths of an inch with that what eighth of an inch bit or so, eight or three-sixteenths. Once I did that, got that done, I took and went to a half-inch bit. And so it was going in halfway over four inches, four, four and a half inches on the wall. And then I took the half-inch and, and I skipped every other hole. And as I was drilling in, when I, when I bottomed out and drilled the next one and bottomed out, I would move my drill back and forth this way and it would break it would break between the two holes and I just did that all the way around I actually got a really nice smooth round hole in there and that was the same over here sorry get down here so you can see it um, same type of situation right there and I've got this one uh, all uh, formed up here ready to pour. I'm, I left this portion here up enough to pour in. I'll put a, uh, I'm going to put a dry mix in around the edge and let that set up for a day. Then I'll just pour a runnier mix in so it'll go in underneath and up and around and fill everything and just pack that full of uh, mortar. So that's what I've got, a, got done there. I'm just waiting on that. I just wanted to get my scaffolding stuff set up. I also put finished out with my my uh, second coat all the way around. It's nice and thick and sagging, so it's got good solid sixteenth of an inch of tar on it. And then I had some left over, so I just kind of did the both sides, that one and this one here. Uh, both sides of my uh, bump out. Uh, like I said, it's not, it's just a there's no living area there, but I had a 
third of a bucket and you leave that around long enough and it's just going to it's going to go bad so I put it on this morning um, so yeah that is where we are on that part of the house build so I am now as you can see getting into my lumber um, just right now using it for scaffolding but I'm going to get ready to lay out my plates and when I get doing that uh, hopefully I can do more of this on Saturday to start getting the rim joists and all the plates down before I go in and start building the walls down there um, you're going to see some some material being used up so Anyway, short video, just wanted to give an update. Some people were asking in the comments about what was going on and wanted to let you know what the situation was. Of course, I'm not working full time at this, just part time. But uh, once we get that base on, we're going to be way to the races. <sighs> Two and a half years, three years, coming up on three years. Um, but anyway, uh, there's going to be lots more to come and we get this thing get the floor on it we'll start getting it completely backfilled so we can work around it set scaffolding up and away we'll go so till next time as always you have a great day